I have officially been single for four years. Now, the one thing that we will all go through when newly single, with kids, having a family, marriage, the whole nine yards is there are going to be pieces that we're going to have to pick up and move on. Our children are the ones who suffer the most for it. We do put on a straight face and keep things happy and go forward and, you know, everything's good. Things are going to be, there's not going to be any difference. The reality of it is for some of us, that's not the case. Now, there are a lot of things that you have to deal with. Um, anger, crying, wanting your partner there or your wife there, whoever, um, your children acting out, whether it be in school or at home, usually at home, sometimes both. Uh, that's stuff that we have to face on a daily basis. And eventually it, it gets better. No, no, correction. It doesn't get better, it gets easier. In my case, I didn't deal with any issues. Uh, I didn't express my issues. I was just emotionally numb. I provided for my son, but in the same aspect, like I was told that <laughs> my ex wanted a divorce over text message. Uh, never actually said it to my face, nothing. There was no telephone call, it was a text message. All things aside, I do wish him and his current partner the best of luck. By all means, go ahead. Their mental health is one of the biggest aspects of the family dynamic. It is also one of the biggest aspects of what we have recently been going through. When a relationship ends, the children, uh, now it's a very hard topic to talk about because it's like pulling off a band-aid. You have that wound under there. Eventually it scars over and it's with you. Now, as I was mentioning about the children, our children are the ones who have to deal with it the most because they don't understand, especially from a young age. Now, my son is turning 12 this October. Fantastic. I'm watching him grow into a young man. He's about the same height as me, and I can wear some of his clothes now. Um, he is quite the individual, and as I mentioned in the previous video, it's, it's stuff that is the most rewarding as hard as it may be it is the most rewarding aspect to being a parent now when you have an ex that whether they are in their life out of their life um just dr drop you to the curb in my instance um that's stuff that you're gonna have to face eventually over time now it gets to a point where it's anger and then it's pity in the, I've done the best that I can do for my son. Uh, you know, you, you want to give them everything you can, and unfortunately you can't. Now, in my aspect, thankfully, I have Showgirls Entertainment, and I also have the Canadian National Showgirl Pageant with some fantastic queens. There's Eclair Devereaux, our Canadian National Showgirl Supreme, and... From not too far away from where he, she lives, we have Athena Vegas, the Canadian National Showgirl. Where that comes into play, my son, since my marriage ended, and our family was literally left in shambles, uh, three carloads of our possessions in a small car, that's all we had. We had nothing. Since then... The business has expanded. We have gone national, international at one point for two years. We were into the US as well. And with that, my son has been afforded the opportunity to meet some fantastic individuals across Canada, uh, more specifically in Ontario. They're always asking about my son. Uh, they're asking what's new school. Now, thankfully, I have been able to have a fantastic relationship and friendship 
with Eclair Devereaux and the Devereaux dolls. She is the matriarch of the family, and I have learned quite a bit from her. And in the same aspect, she's learned a bit from me. We've been able to learn and grow from each other. But getting back to the single part, nothing is harder than having to pick up the pieces and carry on like nothing happened to create that normalcy for your child. And I may have said that wrong, normalcy, normality. Either way, trying to create that for your child, giving them exactly what they had before, just as much attention, games, whatever the case may be. It is and always will be the reward that I'm going to have at the end of the day, whether drag is gone, whether I am working 10 hours a day, doesn't matter. That is the reward at the end of the day, the end of the week. Every night it is a hug. I love you. See you in the morning. And we go from there. Every day is new. Every day is a new blessing. That is something that you're going to get after a relationship has ended and moving on. We are not superhuman. <laughs> we don't have any special powers. We are just dad, uh, John, Uncle John, Uncle Johnny, or whatever your name is, same situation. Uh, we just, like I said in the previous video, we evolve, we move on, we, we learn from our mistakes. We know what the red flags are when it comes to being single, getting into a relationship. Let's talk about dating again after picking up all the pieces and moving on when you're in a better space and it is time. You'll know when it's time to move on. When it seems like nothing else matters uh, relationship wise that you know, at the end of the day, we've done everything we can and all we want to do is sit down, relax with a significant other, and enjoy that companionship. That, I can tell you, is one thing I do miss, is having that companionship. It wasn't about all the other things, it was that companionship at the end of the day. Now, when we finally get that companionship there will be rebounds unfortunately because somebody is always bound to get hurt in the in that aspect in my case when it came to having a rebound i started to get feelings for another individual and unfortunately that did not work out Thankfully, it did not work out, I should say, because later on, some issues had come up, and that person's no longer around. We as bisexuals, gay, lesbian, trans, whatever the case may be, it, there's certain aspects to the dating scene that we are exposed to. Now, on the gay and bisexual side, we have different types of dating apps. Now, in one of those dating apps, I did meet with somebody for a coffee, and unfortunately, it did not end up too well after we had come back to my home. Uh, now, at the time, I was still talking with my ex, and a lot of things bugged me. So I did mention that, unfortunately, somehow the person knew I was a drag queen. And I try to keep it as separate as possible. Now, it, there's the drag life, which is a business, a brand. Then there's the home life, which is John, the father, the worker, da-da-da-da. In my case... Things were going great. I thought, you know what? This is good. We're, we're moving on here. It's, it's got a good flow. The unfortunate side of it is, 
after we had come back to my home, things progressed and unfortunately I had to defend myself. Now, thankfully, I'm, although I'm 5'8 and stocky build, at one point in my life, I wasn't like that. I was about 180 pounds, working out all the time, taking certain classes, so I was able to defend myself because the person tried to pin me down. Now, it's a touchy subject for a lot of people. I do understand that. And for those who have had to go through that, I know what it's like. The upside on my case is that I was able to defend myself before anything happened. And that from that time on, I have not gone on a date again. There's been one or two people that I know that I have gone and hung out with, but no dates. Never to my home, always in a public place. We have to be safe. And after being single, or even recently single, or single for a long time or whatever the case may be, we have to be careful. We are still human and we have emotions, we have certain needs. There's ways around it, but that is one of the pitfalls of being in a vulnerable state and going for a rebound or whatever the case may be. Now, mind you, this was also a one year into being single after receiving that text message, which I still have all those conversations. It is and always will be one of the toughest times you're going to go through. The only thing I can say is it's going to get better. We are going to move forward. Mental health is going to seemed raining at the best of times but as an individual as a parent we know what we have to do our kids cannot suffer because we're suffering we have to give them what they need the love the attention uh the games monopoly Ugh, can't tell you how many times we play monopoly but that's what you need. It will get better. Even though you may be single now, eventually you will get that time where you're going to have somebody to spend it with. That is not just your child. You're going to get that companionship back. It just takes time. And like all things... It will get better, as I had mentioned. And I keep saying it gets better. And it will... You just have to pick up the pieces, find what works for you, and move forward. There's always a silver lining at the end of the road. And in my case, I have been able and afforded to the opportunities to go and travel Ontario, uh, into Quebec, have contacts, friends, drag queens, kings, uh, non-binary non uh performers, trans performers, uh, all over the world, actually. Uh, it, it is an amazing thing. I get messages from friends in the UK. I get messages from friends down in Florida. I get messages from Vancouver, Saskatchewan, all over the world. Keep moving forward. It is going to be rough at first, but it's going to be a blast towards the end. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here doing this. Focus on your work. 
get a project, a hobby, something. You know, there's going to be moments where you're seeing something on the TV or on YouTube or Facebook that's going to trigger something, feelings from before. Um, you may see videos or pictures about your ex or in regards to your ex. Fantastic. You may not like it, but you know what? That's their problem, not yours. People don't like what you're talking about. That's fine and dandy. The only way you're going to move forward is by talking about the feelings. And I've mentioned that in my previous video, 11 things. They do not tell you about being a single parent. Express your feelings. Go through it. Go through it. It, w it Honestly, it is the best remedy to to help you heal. Alrighty, you guys. Thanks for watching my video. Do appreciate it. Subscribe, like, and comment down below so we can all get to know each other. We all have certain aspects of life that we can learn from. Whether you are a drag queen, entrepreneur, corporate, YouTuber, whatever the case may be.